Hi, my name is Travis Lachlan. I teach violin and viola at the Neighborhood Music School. And I'm going to talk to you today about the left hand uh, playing the violin. So a few ways to get comfortable holding the violin, because at first it can be uncomfortable. Just get used to holding the neck with it just in front of you like this. You'll feel the end of the scroll fit into the web of your hand. See how my thumb and my finger are like on either side? And not, you don't need to squeeze it very tightly right because it just hooks it hooks in there so then once you have that you can turn it over and put it on your shoulder you see how I'm not putting my neck on it yet I'm just finding a place where it sits and you can also think that this knob at the end can press lightly against your neck to review you start with the light grip here flip it onto your shoulder as you twist your arm to get it onto your shoulder. The fingers take on this shape. You have to make sure you're not supporting it with your fingers because the fingers need to be free to play on the strings. Your thumb should be supporting the neck. If your elbow is over here, that creates this kind of pull. You want to keep the elbow underneath the violin. So once you have this position of it on your shoulder, you have to figure out where the fingers need to exactly go. Some teachers might put tapes where your fingers are supposed to go. So your first finger will have a mark, your second finger will have a mark, third finger will have a mark. If you do it without marks, it's a good way to get used to developing your ear as well. Because eventually there'll be no marks as you see here. And you're gonna have to find everything from muscle memory. That would be the beginning of an A major scale. Then it's a matter of doing it over and over again until you've found the spacing for all the fingers, which will end up looking like this. Right, you have a bigger space here, barely any space here, and some space here before the end of the string. Over time, your hand starts to naturally form in that shape. And that's how you can play quickly because your hand is already in the shape. You're not finding each finger every time. So from this angle, they don't move very far away from where they're supposed to be. The thumb is also keeping track of the end of the fingerboard here. And it's keeping track of the back of the scroll. All of those things keep your hand securely in this position. Another point to make about the fingers is you want them to keep this curved shape, right? So if you were holding it lightly like this, your fingers are curved. You flip it around, they should still be curved. And then when you find the spots, still be curved. So those are a few tips on how to get comfortable holding the violin. The specifics of where the fingers are going to go, that's going to take a lot of practice. And depending on who your teacher is, there's different methods about how to develop that skill. But these are just some beginning guidelines on how to at least get it onto your shoulder, find the general place for your hand, and figure out the mechanics of how the fingers are going to come down onto the string. I hope it helps, and good luck.